and welcome. In today's tutorial, we're going to see how to create a ragdoll in Unity. Ragdoll physics refers to a technique that simulates the dynamic behavior of a character's body part, allowing them to react to external forces and collisions. In this tutorial, we'll try to understand how the ragdoll physics works and we'll try to create a ragdoll similar to this. Unity ragdoll works with help of three major components. One is rigid body, the next is character joints, and the third one is colliders. Now to make a character into a ragdoll, you need to attach a rigid body, a collider, and a character joint to every limb of the character. Unity uses the rigid body component to know the mass and friction of the limb. It uses the character joints to calculate the direction of motion of the limb and the colliders to detect collisions for the limbs. Now to create a ragdoll, you can either use the inbuilt ragdoll creator in Unity or you can manually add the rigid body character joint and collider based on your requirement. The inbuilt ragdoll creator works only for humanoid models. So if you have a non-humanoid model, it's better to do it manually. First, we'll see how to create a ragdoll using the inbuilt ragdoll creator. Then we'll understand the basics of how to do it if it is not a humanoid model. To use the inbuilt model, you need the character in the T position. As you can see in the screen, I have a wizard in the T pose. And once you have the wizard, just select the character, then go to game object, 3D object, and ragdoll. So this will open up the create ragdoll window for you. And you can see here, you can assign the body parts like pelvis, hip, knee, foot. So the name exactly might not match with your character. So you can just take the closest part and assign it here. So the first one is the pelvis. So pelvis should be the parent of all limbs that are connected in your game object. So in my case, this is the pelvis. So the name matches. I'm going to use this. So next comes the left hip. So left hip should be somewhere here in this area. So I guess since the character is facing us, the left should be on this side. So in this case, it's going to be the thigh. Yeah, so, so I'm going to take the thigh and assign it to the left hip. Then I'm going to take the calf. So you can match the position even if your name doesn't match. So knee should be somewhere here. So let's take the calf and assign it to the knee. Then foot should be somewhere here at the bottom. So let's assign the foot. Now similarly, let's do it for the right side. The thigh goes to the right hip. Calf goes to the knee. And the foot goes to the foot. Now we need the arm. So let's find the arm. That's the arm. The arm should be somewhere inside the spine. Okay, he has three spines. Then, yeah, there you go. Upper arm. Then here, arm left and arm right. So for the left arm, I'm going to assign the lower arm here. And for the left elbow, I'm going to assign the hand. Similarly, for the right arm, I'm going to assign the lower arm right, sorry, upper arm right. And for the right elbow, I'm going to assign the lower arm right. Then comes the middle spine. So let's just check which spine is in the middle. So I think we can use the parent one, the spine one. So we'll assign that to the middle spine. Then we need the head. So let's go ahead and find the head. It should be inside neck. Okay. So this is my head. So let's say this character is like 40 kilos in weight. Okay. And then just click on create. Now what Unity does with this is it will basically distribute the mass, the total mass into these each arm. And leaving the pelvis game object, it will assign rigid body character joint and collider to all the other game objects. For the pelvis, there will be no character joints because it, it is the center part of our character. So let's click on create. So now if we go and select pelvis, you can see it, it has a collider and a rigid body, but it does not have a character joint. Now all the other game objects, if you select the player game object now and you enable the gizmos, so you should be able to see some colliders like this. So you can see that everything is not perfect. The center square is moved a little bit to the right side. Uh, the legs seem to be fine, hands are fine, the head is very small. So now what we have to do is just select the individual parts. For example, let's select the head. So it has a character joint, it has a rigid body. Now we'll select the sphere collider and increase the radius. 
whether it's big enough to the size of the head then we'll also select the pelvis and you can see that the collider is not exactly matching with the size of the character so i'm going to click on edit box collider so it looks like the pelvis box collider is okay so the problem should be with the spine one yeah so the pelvis and spine are colliding with each other so that's because we should have used spine 2 which was more in the middle so that's fine we can just increase this one and select the spine one pelvis collider let's make it small somewhere like this and let's select the spine one edit collider and reduce the size to something like this extend this here extend this here now i hope both are not colliding with each other yeah that should be okay we'll increase this size to go a little bit inside okay what you need to make sure is no two colliders are colliding with each other make sure there's no animator attached to your game object or if you have a common collider just remove that and if you have a rigid body for the common character then you have to remove that too now let's just hit the play button and see what happens now it was simple enough and if you have a character that is not basically in the t pose then your colliders here will not align with your hand so we have an example here i'll just show you the example picture so as you can see in the image here the character was not in an exact t position and the x and y axis were not aligned with the hand now if you had to do it manually for a non-humanoid character just select the main pelvis area that is the main body part of the character and add a rigid body and box collider to it in the mass and the size of the box collider and one thing to remember is the center box collider should not collide with any other colliders now once you are done with the center part adding the center rigid body and the collider select each limb like you don't have to select all the limbs you have to select only the main limbs like for the hand you can select the upper hand and the lower hand and for the leg you can select the thigh and the calf part so just select it and add a rigid body capsule collider and a character joint and inside the character joint you can click on edit angular limits so this way you can decide like which angle the joint can actually move so the leg can actually move in this direction in the upward direction but actually the leg moves a little bit to the back also and a little bit to the forward you can set the angular limit something like this and in case of the inner calf like this the calf doesn't bend in the forward direction so you have to actually select the angular limits and set it like this so you'll have to manually do it for each and every limb you will have to add a collider a character joint and a rigid body you also have to set the mass of the rigid body for example if this person is 40 kilos in weight the mass of the calf is like 2 kgs or 1.8 kgs so you get the idea you will have to do it for every limb and after assigning all this to all the limbs and when you, if you play the game you should have a ragdoll animation so that's it create your own ragdolls and if you have any other questions leave them in the comment box below thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share